Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you a few procedural techniques in Odini. The full scene is available on Patreon by the way. The first one is on how useful UVs can be besides the default purpose. So selecting a sim group and flattening the UVs. Then I need a mask around my object, for that I can simply use the U component of the UV attribute, so along the X axis. After that I can easily displace my GU along the mask with the help of scene. Another useful feature with UVs is to sort points. In here I am using it to sort along the U component so I can easily select rings around my GU. Without it, the point sort is all messed up. And I'm sorting again, this time by the V component of the UVs or along Y. Otherwise I would get alternating vertex orders when converting the rings, the rings to curves, which leads to several issues when working with rigs. So as you can see I have this falloff effect on my rig, and that is pretty simple to create. Basically using the XYZ dist function, we create a falloff from the starting primitives, then just use a ram to adjust it. I created this icing with a spiral and a sweep node, and now I want to integrate it with the cake sitting right on top. For that I am setting up a basic vellum sim where I, let the, where I let it rest on top of the collision GU, but as you can see it's sticking and not sliding on the collision GU. And in order to achieve that, inside the solver I'm creating some vellum constraints that evaluate each frame set to attach with a small distance, that way it sits perfectly on top without sliding. As you can see I have some sprinkles on top of the icing, and I'm placing it only where in theory makes sense, by using the dot product between the normals and the up vector set to Y, then just scattering on those areas. So you can easily get random rotations by using the attribute adjust vector node. In this case I am randomizing the up vector, but since the sprinkles have some bend, and it is always facing the same direction, I also added a, another one to rotate the normals around the up vector. And that was it, let me know if you learned something new in the comments, and make sure to check out the file on Patreon. Thank you.